Building web apps doesn't have to take months. This is the five-step approach I've used to build and launch web apps in less than a week. Let's dive in. For me, every web app begins with this list, a simple log of problems I encounter in everyday life that might be solved with software. However crazy the idea, I write it down. When it's time to start a new project, I pick my favorite, one that excites me and feels manageable enough to finish quickly. Once I have a problem to solve, I flesh out the solution. For my first app, the problem was not having an easy way to compare YouTube thumbnails side by side. I broke the idea down into its essential features to create an MVP. This avoids wasting time on features that might not even matter. With the MVP defined, I set a start date and a hard deadline. Seven days for my latest app based on what I could realistically handle. A deadline focuses the mind like nothing else, helping cut through distractions. Exactly what you need with so much still ahead. My next step isn't to start building core features. For my latest web app, a YouTube channel banner generator, I started with something unexpected, a landing page. Why? Two reasons. It boosts my motivation and it forces me to see my app through a customer's perspective. The landing page is what a user sees first, describing their problem and showing how your app solves it. I'm no marketing expert, but I just use simple text and images on an HTML page and I aim to make it as polished as possible. By building this up front, I get a mundane task out of the way and solidify the product's purpose. When I finished this landing page, I read through it and I couldn't help but get excited about the idea. That propelled me straight into the next step. Imagine someone put a gun to your head and demanded you build the core features of your web app right now. What would you do? You'd probably come up with the simplest, scrappiest version possible. And that's exactly the point. When I started building my banner generator, I had no idea how to generate images. So instead of overcomplicating it, I stripped it down to the basics. A simple browser widget to overlay text on an image. Getting that early win changed everything. It showed me the project wasn't as daunting as I'd imagined. Plus, building a scrappy V1 lets you skip endless planning and tool debates. Things that often derail procrastinators like me. But a scrappy version is just the start. Users expect more, and that's where the real work begins. Time to add some polish. At this stage, I take a step back and ask myself, are there any features I can cut out to get to the finish line faster? Simplification is key. Could the app work without user login or without a database? For my first web app, the YouTube thumbnail comparison tool, I stored images directly in the browser. It wasn't perfect, but it worked. By avoiding nice to have features, you stay on track to meet your deadline. For the essential features that do make the cut, I try to lean on tools and technologies that I already know. They might not be ideal, but familiar tech keeps me focused on building instead of wasting time learning something new. This stage isn't without challenges, but every bug, error, and mistake becomes a lesson that makes the next project easier. Bit by bit, I tick items off my MVP. The deadline looms closer, and I know it's time for that final push to get the app ready for release. With the MVP feature complete, there's one last checklist I run through before hitting deploy. My AAA, automated tests, auto deployment, and analytics. Automated tests are a few end-to-end -end tests to catch any major issues and give me confidence making changes. Auto deployment means when I push a change, GitHub automatically builds tests and deploys it. Analytics means adding a script to count visitors and monitor performance in real time. With these in place, I'm ready to release. I push the app live and let the world know through email and social media. Like I said, marketing isn't my strong point and users don't appear out of thin air. But even if my apps don't go viral, I take pride in knowing I built something useful from scratch. After launching my first web app, I proved something important to myself. I could do it. With each new project, I choose better ideas, build faster, and get a little better at sharing my work. This is the fastest way I've found to build web apps. Maybe it can inspire you to create your own process. Think about it with focus and a clear plan. You could have a working web app in just a week or two. The only thing standing between you and the result is the decision to start. So why wait? See you in the next one.